hey guys welcome to my channel i've decided i'm going to start being a little more polite and start introducing myself hi i'm sam today's video is going to be a short one um i just feel the need to rant about biden because lately he's had me literally, quite literally, screaming at my phone. Very similar to Khloe Kardashian when her baby daddy cheated on her with her little sister's friend. So Afghanistan's a shit storm situation. Everyone knows that by now. Except Biden, I guess. Today he answered some questions from the press. And I just want to talk about one in particular. Because I couldn't believe how badly it was answered congratulations to this reporter for having balls of steel <gasps> good job sir good work because not only does Biden call on him and while Biden's talking he interrupts him immediately which I find fucking hilarious Ed fire away yes Mr. You President, actually over. following up on Andrew's question because he starts off by calling out Biden for negotiating with the Taliban like no sugarcoating that shit he asks Biden if he now trusts the Taliban. The United States is now negotiating with the Taliban over air force access and such. Do you now trust them? And then goes on to reference a poll and mentions that most Americans like did want us out of Afghanistan, but not like this. And a question on the public response. A new poll out today shows Americans wanted to withdraw from Afghanistan, but they disapprove of the way you've handled it. Less than 40% of the country think that Biden is competent enough to run shit. Poll also found that based in part on what's transpired in the last week, a majority of Americans, and forgive me, I'm just the messenger, no longer consider you to be competent, focused, or effective in the job. And it left me wondering what kind of human being who causes this much fucking chaos in the world, not even just in our country, in the world, why would your first reaction why would your first reaction be to chuckle i don't know if it's the kamala harris effect or what Slow down, everybody. <laughs> um. but that shit was that shit was inappropriate as hell Morning. um <laughs> what would you say and he came back with a deflection as weak and pathetic as why well, i haven't seen that one yet as if that matters or makes it any less true or as though like you don't have to answer the question i haven't seen that poll it's out there um from cbs this but i guess i'm not surprised that such a weak deflection attempt came from him like that's that should be expected at this point Biden's kind of a coward if i only had the nerve He's essentially sticking by what he did as though it was the only and best option or possible outcome there was. When I'm pretty sure quite the opposite is true. I'm pretty sure there's only a handful of ways this could have gone worse as opposed to like the several hundred, possibly thousand ways it could have gone significantly fucking better. And, uh, but look, that's the job. My job is to make judgments. My job is to make judgments no one else can or will make. I made them. I'm convinced I'm absolutely correct. You know, the only reason we're in Afghanistan is this is the place from which bin Laden attacked the United States of America. Had this been in another Middle Eastern country where he could have easily have moved from, we would have never gone to Afghanistan. So the question is, when is the right time to leave? Where are our national interests? Where do they lie? No one asked for a dragged out, inaccurate history lesson from Joe Biden. What they asked is, how do you feel? What do you think about? Only 40% of the country thinks that you have any capability of running shit in this country. When that's literally like your job, like that should be your focus. You should be like, not this bad at it. No one asked for any of his response, honestly. He didn't answer the fucking question. But he says by the end of this, which, what will be the end of it, I'm wondering? Because if he can't even guarantee that we're going to get all Americans out, I feel like 
the, the ending, the conclusion to this isn't going to be the same for everyone. It's not going to be the same uh, time frame for everybody, depending on your views and opinions. He tries to say that by the end of all of this, it will be crystal fucking clear as to why he did what he did. So oh, I, uh, I think when this is over, the American people have a clear understanding of what I did, why we did it, and... Uh... Why not tell us now? It's already been done. Want to go ahead and make that clear right now? Like to all of us, to like 60% of the country who doesn't fucking think that your brain works properly or works well enough to run anything at all. Biden isn't capable at this point in his life in a very, very, very fucking general sense of being crystal clear about anything. 80% of what he says confuses people. All to fuck. This, they need to uh, and, and bring, bring their neck. Like, no one knows what the fuck he's talking about most of the time. But according to him, it's gonna be crystal fucking clear by the end. That is also unclear. He tries to justify all of this chaos that he went out of his way to make happen, essentially. Just really fucked with more people. Um, he tries to justify it all by being like, I don't want your sons and daughters going out to this endless war. I'm convinced I'm absolutely correct in not deciding to send more young women and men to war for a war that in fact is no longer warned. Which, sure, okay, that, that statement alone, independent from this, sure, that's, that's a good statement, you know, that's fine. I think most people would be okay with that statement. But when you're having to send in like 6,000, 8,000, however many troops back in to get these Americans out that he left behind, that argument kind of goes out the fucking window now, doesn't it? The Taliban has a... Uh, Taliban ha uh, That long pause, though. What the fuck was that? Has he ever heard the phrase, you don't negotiate with terrorists? Just, just wondering. It's going to need everything from additional help in terms of economic assistance, trade, and a whole range of things. The Taliban has said, we'll see whether they mean it or not. They're seeking legitimacy. They're seeking legitimacy to determine whether or not they will be recognized by other countries. They have told other countries as well as us, they don't want us to move our diplomatic presence completely. But they, so all, all this is all just talk now. All just talk now. And so, so far, the Taliban has not taken action against U.S. forces. So far, they have, by and large, followed through on what they said in terms of allowing Americans to pass through and the like. And I'm sure they don't control all of their forces. It's a ragtag force. And so we'll see. We'll see whether or not what they say turns out to be true. And in conclusion, <laughs> Biden's fucking retarded. And his, what I think he thinks is a good deflection tactic, isn't end the war and i decided to end the war yes. I, when is the right time to leave where are our national interests where do they lie and acting like people have a problem with us leaving afghanistan instead of the actual issue is not a good out biden you're still gonna have to deal with it you're still hopefully if anyone has any fucking like morals in congress you, you will be investigated for this, rightfully so, because what the fuck was that? So give me your thoughts below on how the fuck you think he handled this what should be obvious question that came his way. Just your thoughts in general on this whole fucking situation that Biden stupidly caused. I just want to put a positive thing into this video since it's been pretty negative and mean. It seems like some, not all, by far not all, but some news organizations other than fucking Fox are questioning Biden's cognitive ability, which thanks for catching up, idiots. Like the damage is done. It's kind of too late to question it because what the fuck's it gonna do now? You, you stupid fucks, you hateful, stupid idiots. You voted him in and now this is, this is what we got. Seven months in, way to fucking go. Thanks for ruining the country. It is refreshing, all in all, to see some news anchors 
incapable of being the moralist fucking propaganda pushing assholes that they've been the past like what five years and finally start questioning things some are still you know walking that line not wanting to take it too far but a lot of people are pissed and finally calling him out look president biden in his remarks on on friday said three things that were demonstrably provably untrue. Al-Qaeda is gone yeah. from Afghanistan. That's not true. We haven't been criticized by our allies. That's not true. Americans can make it to the airport without being harassed. That's not true. I mean, he seems to have lost touch with reality. And, and that's a huge problem. It. That, but he really isn't taking responsibility. Uh, look, he has known since the day he was inaugurated that he was going to be the president who withdrew American troops for once and for all from Afghanistan. He's had seven months to organize the government to do this. He did have advance uh, warning to some extent that the situation was deteriorating. Certainly over the past several weeks, that dissent cable that went to Secretary of State Blinken where the guys on the ground in Kabul wrote the State Department and said this thing could fall by the end of August. When you listen to the president, he is saying things that simply uh, do not comport with the reality that we are seeing with our own eyes, that you hear uh, uh, Ian Panel describing, for instance. Uh, when he says that every American can get to that airport, there hasn't been an issue with that, uh, that doesn't comport with the reality that you heard Ian describe. It also doesn't comport with the reality that the State Department has been uh, issuing in, in guidance that we have seen uh, uh, from the State Department to Americans uh, in Afghanistan, uh, encouraging people uh, to make the trip to the airport to be evacuated. But even in the State Department's guidance, this is a cable that went out uh, just on Wednesday, the United States government cannot ensure safe passage to the Hamid Karzai International Airport. So the State Department is telling Americans that they cannot guarantee their safe passage uh, uh, to the airport. And you heard from the president today that we don't even know how many Americans are in Afghanistan right now. So how can the president say that there isn't an issue getting Americans uh, safely to the airport? And then the other thing, David, uh, when, when the president said there have been no question from our allies, that our allies have been united on this. Um, that's not exactly correct either. I mean, we saw uh, in the last few days the, the British defense minister literally in tears, bre breaking back tears, talking about how the, the West looks weak in all of this and the fear of terrorism going okay. forward. Let me know your thoughts below. I hope you liked the video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I forgot to mention this fucking funny shirt I recently got. It has the lovely Kamala Harris. Nancy Pelosi, AOC, Hillary Clinton. That's one ugly shirt. It's fucking hilarious. And I thought you people, you smart, brilliant people would appreciate it.